Hi guys, Scott here with the Lima Beam, where today we're going to be trying out the hydraulic lift system of the outboard bracket. I finally got all the pieces together, everything's hooked up, so let's give it a go! And I've cracked all the, uh, the lines at the cylinders and uh, ran the pump till I flushed the air out, so we should be... Uh, Good to go. Might get a little bit of gurgling uh, as the uh, rest of the air makes its way out, but probably not much. So here goes. Push the button, Max. <laughs> we shall rise above. We are invincible. <laughs> so this is the pump. It's a Parker model, uh, what uh, Merck Cruiser has used for many years uh, on their stern drive models. Now we are operating and holding at a leisurely, uh, looks like about 275 PSI. And that's pretty much nothing for uh, hydraulics. Um, so very little strain on the whole system. So these lines and fittings I use for this are all from a company called Vibrant Performance. Uh, it's a high performance car line, uh, mostly for fuel, but uh, I chose all these components uh, trying to avoid any problems at all with uh, corrosion between dissimilar metals. So all these fittings are aluminum. And they're not really rated uh, with any numbers. Not recommended for high pressure hydraulic, but this really isn't high pressure and I think they'll be just fine. So far so good. The line itself is a uh, stainless uh, braid, but uh, it does have a coating on it, which uh, hopefully keeps down any contact between uh, the aluminum and the stainless. Now with this all the way up here you can see that my uh, pin bolt through the uh, cylinder is uh, hitting the bracket so if I want to go higher I'm gonna have to come up with something flush uh, to go in there but we are above the bottom of the boat so that'll do just fine that's a nice -a boys wow that works pretty great and I'm super happy to finally see it uh, working after all this effort. Pretty happy. <laughs>